my name is Bob, uh, and we're playing from the depths. Uh, and this is the um, Pee Wee submarine. It's a nice little relatively inexpensive multi-purpose submarine. It's got uh, some guns in here because it does kind of close on the enemy uh, a bit. And those guns are useful when it does. Uh, it has um, missiles. Um, two of them are um, EMP missiles. The rest of them are fairly standard mis missiles. My, my typical missiles. Uh, and it's got mines. And uh, two of those are EMP mines. Uh, four of those are EMP mines. And this is the same thing, except it's got all the skin off. Uh, so you get to uh, take a look and... Um, hold on a second. I'm not sure where my HUD went, but whatever. Uh, you can look and see how all the innards work, because this is the anatomy of a submarine, or in this case, this submarine. Um, uh, down here we have uh, torpedoes. A great thing about torpedoes is you can't shoot them down. And they're on the same missile controller as the missiles. It just shoots them all off at the same time. Here's the missiles. Just my fairly standard uh, missiles. EMP missiles. Uh, which have uh, EMP warheads instead of, um, uh, instead of regular th warheads. Back here we have the, um, uh, the computer center. Uh, and it's generally usually better protected than this. Um, also, notice that there's a, a lot of um, uh, a lot of uh, repair bots there. Uh, that is good. If if the computer gets hit, they can repair quickly. Here's the engine. There's also a lot of repair bots there. Down below in the the, the metal part of it, I got um, uh, fuel and uh, ammo. Occasionally, get that gets breached. Not very often. Uh, let me show you how the mines work. Here are the mines, and they're not on the controller. It's just it's just missiles, uh, and um, missile controller, uh, and a um, uh, a control block that that tells it when it's within a distance, which is the same distance as it should be underneath the um, enemy. Uh, so set the uh, hydrofoils are set to keep it at a certain uh, distance below the uh, water. Once it's at that distance from the enemy or or closer, uh, it starts onto these um, these mines. Uh, and the mines are staggered. It's just basically an explosive and a fragmentation warhead, a ballast tank to make sure it stays above water, and magnet that, that attracts it to the uh, the enemy. So that, that part is real simple and they're very effective. The problem with it, the mines, is you have to get real close to them in order for them to work. But if you are close to them, and if they don't have any downward facing cannons, uh, then these will, this will really tear them up like piranhas. You know, eat them up like piranhas. Uh, here's my very, very cramped uh, cockpit. Extremely cramped. Uh, this is a radar boy. Uh, when it's underwater, it doesn't have any benefit of uh, radar, of course. Uh, and um, uh, so this thing launches a, um, a simple structure that just balance tax, tanks and radar boy. Uh, and um, uh, because I have the, uh, the requisite parts on the... Um, on the CPU here. Let me get over here. Uh, I believe those are the parts. You need um, a couple, of, yeah, a couple of these things in order to keep track of the uh, the boy, and have the boy sh uh, shoot off every 45 seconds, uh, and uh, that'll give you radar information even though you're underwater. And of course, it also has uh, the passive sonar. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, he's got the two two guns. Oh, um, and the guns are are not don't don't have a, a, a wireless connection. They got a, a hard hard connection. Um, it's actually CPU connector blocks all the way up to the CPU. Uh, that way the the wireless uh, snoopers won't know where it is. Of course, they, they usually find you know they usually detect it pretty easily anyway. But that's just a precaution to make sure that the the wire the wireless doesn't give away uh, the location because there is no wireless. <coughs> I might be able to, um, uh, if I were to go go without the um, uh, the uh, sonar boy, I might be able to actually keep my uh, my location a secret from the enemy uh, for a fairly long time. But um, but then I wouldn't know where the hell he is, uh, so that that wouldn't be all that great either. So it works out pretty well. Oh, down here. 
This is also not on a weapons controller or anything. It ju I just run my automatic control blocks. Uh, the control block says, uh, basically if uh, enemy range is within a certain amount, um, fire off the, um, the weapons. Uh, and uh, there's a, a, stagger, uh, a stagger module on this as well. And the weapons are uh, basically mi missile interceptors, but they're underwater. So basically, they, they will they'll spread out in all directions, uh, and if there's a, a, a torpedo heading towards the ship, uh, that will hopefully uh, uh, take it down. Hopefully, not always. Now, the, I have other submarines that have twice as many missiles going on, and that does a pretty good job. But um, this this one, because it's a relatively inexpensive submarine, I didn't really want to go to that um, grade of um, a length. Um, but really, that's uh, the only thing that can hurt it is. Uh, uh, torpedoes uh, and also guns if it's very close. Um, if it's if it's a downward pointing gun, th that'll that'll put the hurt on. Um, but also has uh, also has shields to help protect the protect from that. Uh, and they only turn on when the um, when the shields um, when the enemy is relatively near. And this is what. Let me find out. Hydrofoils that controls the hydrofoils. Basically, if uh, the uh, depth is above a certain level, uh, the hydrofoils will, will um, uh, if it's above a certain level, the hydrofoils will point down. If it's below a certain level, the hydrofoils will point up. So you see now it's uh, pointing down because it's obviously above the surface. Uh, so, and that keeps it on a fairly even keel. It does do a little bit of, um, you know, a bit, bit of roll when it's uh, turning, but it does a pretty, pretty good job of staying on an even keel most of the time. And the uh, these control blocks here are for uh, that's for the shield projectors. So it turns off the shield projectors when there's nobody around, which is a pretty good thing. And that's pretty much it. It's a uh, very compact. And there's a lot going on in a very small passage pa package, and it does a pretty good job of dealing with uh, enemies. Uh, so let's see it in action. Okay, I'm uh, hiding down that little vault there. I've uh, spawned in some uh, some Onyx Watch craft uh, at a distance from my uh, fleet. Uh, with, that's just at the raft there. Um, the raft is going to get pummeled. Uh, and my fleet is over here. I threw in a cheap little airplane just to, to kind of distract him a little bit, or in case um, the loadout on the subs doesn't uh, quite um, uh, completely kill the uh, enemies. So I've got two um, uh, two PB uh, submarines uh, and this little flyer uh, against uh, three Onyx Watch ships, uh, fairly large ones. Uh, those are EMP missiles. That's from the rest from the airplane. Uh, here we've got some in inbound missiles uh, from and torpedoes from the uh, submarine. Uh, this one has mines on it, so if it gets close enough, it may drop the mines or bombs. I guess in this case, same same thing though. Uh-oh. Ah, dodge that one. He you dodge this one? No. No, I got hit, but looks like it's probably still in decent shape. Got hit again. Oh, got wrecked that time. It's going down. Uh, let's see what the the herd is coming from the submarines. We got inbound missiles just kind of creeping along there. <coughs> That's some more torpedoes incoming. 
more missiles. This far they got a little premature there, but whatever. It looks like this one's absorbing most of the hurt. <coughs> I'm just going to get some real hurt in just a second. Those are 13 unit long torpedoes. So they, they pack. They pack some hurt. They're packing the hurt. And that one's just carrying on. Got three more. Oh, that one missed. That was the EPM, EMP. The little white flashes are EMP. Oh. <coughs> These Onyx Watch ships are pretty tough. I mean, they're basically just great giant hunks of iron. Uh, but for the EMP, that's actually good, because uh, the uh, EMP communicates through uh, iron better or, or metal better than it does uh, through uh, wood. And these guys are all kind of spread out. Yeah, those, uh, I think those are, are uh, cram cannons, but they do a lot of hurt at short range. Yeah, I see some EMP going off there. Not taking out his brains yet. Might be heading that way, though. Alright, this one's getting pretty close. And I don't think those cannons can point down, so... When he gets underneath it, he's gonna... Uh, assuming that it can travel fast enough, uh, it will... Um, uh, it'll be able to uh, use the mines. There's a big old EMP. Yeah, it's, it's heading for the last round up. But it's tilting on its side, which if it has any cannons left, which kind of doesn't, uh, would actually be good for it to shoot um, the sub. Um, but uh, it's on the wrong side anyway. Here come two torpedoes. Is this too close? Nope. Doesn't look too close to me. How are you almost in mine range? I do love me some mines, man. I love mines. Come on, buddy. Use your mines. So far, it looks unscathed. There we go. There's mines. And some of them are EMP and some of them are regular. Oh, we're about to have a traffic jam. Might have to hop on and steer these guys away. No, they're okay. Yep, oh, that's, that's history. Gone. Uh, looks like that was the uh, start of raft. That's my airplane, which is not doing too good. 
Yeah, the airplane's kind of a first strike weapon. If it's lucky enough, it'll get close enough and, and get the mines in, but uh, if not, it will uh, launch um, uh, missiles, and those, those missiles are all EMP, which means it's got a, a chance of um, actually taking out the CPU straight away. Oh, somebody tried to fight back. Yeah, these uh, Onyx Watch ships take a while to take down. I mean, they're not necessarily, you know, brilliant designs, but they just don't, they just take a licking. Very hard to make a denim. They're like all metal. Oh, there goes something. It's kind of sinking, but it's, uh... Nope, it's AI dead. Um, some of that EMP must have got it. Anybody else left in the world? Nope, doesn't look like it. And the submarines are completely unharmed. And that one is. And so is that one. I really like submarines. I really like mines too. Mines and submarines, man. Planes and mines are pretty cool if you can, you know, if the planes can get to the target. But but mines and submarines, man, that is that is the essence of destruction. Alright, that's all for right now. Until next time, hasta la vista. Adios!